So here's an update of what's going on, and I didn't want to film my computer again, so here's Star, my German Shepherd that I've had for nearly three years, because in six more days, she's going to be three years old. But I did get her when she was nine weeks old, but other than that, it's just technicalities, people. She's going to be three years old, and in dog years, according to the Pedigree website, she's going to be 29 years old. So she's already older than me, but she still loves to act like a puppy, and that's why I love her. It's just, she's very, very playful, energetic, and whatnot. I should film more videos about Star. Other than the fact that, let's move on here, just that by the title, it's going to be bad news. So I called Dell Tech Support. I was on the phone for an hour and 15 minutes. I discussed to them what, the, what was the problem and everything about it. And here's a little bit of a short recap from yesterday's video. I installed some updates on my computer since it was automatic. I was able to run the computer for the rest of the day. I had to shut it down when I went to bed. Next morning, started up, crashed. It was on a loop. It would crash, restart, start up, crash. Okay, try safe mode. Reads up all the 32 system 32 files and everything along the, the matters of the core memory. Blue screen, crashed, start up. Okay, apparently gives me the startup repair menu now. Okay, click on that. All right, we could just restore, we could actually restore your computer back to the last restore point. Okay, let's do that. And it fixes it. For the rest of the day, I was able to do it. I was able to work on my computer, work on videos and everything along the matters of that. And then of course, it asks to install the updates again by shutdown. So either I shut down, reinstall the updates, or I leave the computer on, it'll shut down on its own and install the updates. So no matter what, it was a lose-lose situation. So install the updates, 16 updates to be exact. Shut down, start up, 47 registries. I was able to use the computer for the rest of the day again. Okay, time to go to bed. Shut down the computer. Next morning, startup, crash. Startup, crash. Restart, startup, crash. Okay, safe mode, blue screen, crash. Then we go back to the startup with the repairs. Okay, let's see if we could actually restore it. Nope, no restore point found. So I could not go back to the point where my computer didn't install the updates anymore. So what could I do? So I went back to investigate, see if I could actually try to make my restore point or find one. Couldn't find one anywhere. Okay, so let's go choose the Dell local backups device. So let's see if we could, we could back up everything and then go choose a restore point. So what it did was that it backed up all of my files. That alone took six hours. Six hours to back up all of my files and then what it tried to do was reinstall the content to where it has this last restore point. And it was stuck on 1%. It was stuck on 1% when I made that update video when I told you guys that it's been there for two hours. And for the rest of the night when I went to, I stayed up around 1 a.m. And then when I looked at the computer six hours later, still on 1%. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to sleep because there's nothing I can do now. And if I wake up to see that it's still on 1%, then I'm going to call Dell Tech Support. Guess what happened? Woke up, went to the computer, looked at the screen, 1%. For over 14 hours, it was still stuck on 1%. So I called Dell Tech Support on the phone for an hour 15 minutes, told them what the problem was, and then what they told me is that it may be corrupted, and what we're gonna try to do is that we're gonna see whether or not if your computer is damaged in any way, so we're gonna go ahead and start up the boot, the boot test. So start up, turn off the computer, okay. Starting up, press F12. Okay, here comes the little menu, the boot menu where it asks you what you wanna do. Okay, we go to diagnostics. It does the tests on everything, the hardware, the software. Well, mainly the hardware and the key components. And everything was passed 100%. There was absolutely nothing wrong with my computer. So that only proves that it's Dell's updates is the one that crashed my computer but I can't fix it because I can't go back to the restore point to the point where it never up or it never actually installed the update. So there's nothing I could do at that point. And what they decided to do and what they decided to tell me is that I'm gonna have to reinstall my computer. I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows 7, the utilities, the drivers, the backups, everything that has to do with that. I'm gonna have to reinstall everything. So what that basically means, guys, I'm gonna have to factory reset it or in other terms, reformat my computer. And what that does, it deletes everything on your computer 
reinstalls it to the factory default like you just got your brand new computer with no software no system or no programs on there just pretty much is like the first day you got your brand new computer so yeah that was dreadful that was dreadful to hear but i knew it was gonna happen i just knew it because i've had to deal with this before and now i had to deal with it again it wasn't on this computer it was on an older older computer so I knew what the stakes were at, and I knew I'm probably gonna have to reset everything and restart everything. The only thing that I'm really hopeful for, which is just a small, small chance that it's ever gonna work, the fact of the matter is that I backed up everything on the local hardware storage, backup storage thing that Dell had previously installed, or has it pre-installed, I should say. I never used it up till now. But I'm just hoping that that's going to be the thing that saves everything. If not, this is where the bad news comes from. That I'm going to lose everything that I have on my computer. The softwares, the updates, the videos, the pre-recorded videos, the Let's Play I was actually working on but I never actually got around to it. That's going to be gone. I'm going to have to restart that Let's Play. Just everything that I've worked on, everything I was working on, and everything that was already done. It's going to be gone. I'm going to have to start off new. I'm going to have to start off fresh again. Got to get everything back together and upload videos like no nothing ever happened. Of course, I'm going to mention it every now and then. Just, that's what's going to happen, guys. I apologize, people. I apologize to everyone that's been waiting for Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome and all the other videos that I planned to actually upload this week. But it's not going to happen anytime soon. Is that it's going to be... Two to three business days before they actually send me the discs. And you may wonder, what what about the discs that they sent you when you bought the computer? That's the thing that they messed up on. They didn't give me the correct ones. What they gave me was Windows 7 Home Premium. What was on my computer, and that's what I paid for, was Windows 7 Professional. I even asked them. I'm not stupid, guys. I know that they may have not have differences, but I even asked the tech support whether or not if Home Premium is the same thing as the professional and they told me no it's not so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna send you three installation discs absolutely free because under our warranty though you paid for we're gonna give it to you for free and thank God for that cuz if I were to have to buy my if I would have to buy a brand new installation disc for the operating system or the OS for the tech nerds I know guys that it's gonna be truly truly expensive it's just like buying your brand new computer that type of expensive, especially for replacements. I've seen some online. I haven't seen some recently, but it's still expensive nevertheless that I would have to pay out of my own pocket. But good thing I paid for that warranty. And now I'll be getting it for free. Two to three business days, it'll be here. I'm gonna have to reinstall everything and I have to get everything back together so that I could go back to making videos. Again, there's that slight, little bit of a small per percentage chance hope that the backup, the local backup already in my drivers will actually save everything and if not I have to start over and you guys are gonna have to give me time to get everything back together the intros the intros the music the videos themselves is gonna be a small little while until I get all of that together and the thing is if I have to restart everything that is pretty much 50 plus videos I have to restart because I did start on that hundred video challenge where I answered 36 different questions I'm gonna have to go back to that and redo them all and then I have to make the 64 more because I'm doing 100 videos of course so everything is gonna be put on hold there's nothing I could do this is out of my control and I appreciate you guys for understanding I appreciate you guys for waiting so until then I'm just at a loss I make videos for you guys and now that I can't make the videos it's kinda of tearing me up inside that I won't be able to keep up with the videos daily for at least the, for at least this week. But don't you mind that there's already pre-uploaded videos. There's already videos that are scheduled to be uploaded for this week. So at least I could keep up with that sort of schedule and keep you guys keep you guys a little bit entertained until I get back to making videos. And this video is going way longer than expected. I thought I was going to only make a 5 minute video, but now it's already reaching to 10. Apologize for the long video. But, at least you get to see Star. Right, Star? Right? Yeah. But... <laughs>
No. My room's a mess, so I don't want to turn around. At least you see Foxy in the background. Oh, woe is me, woe is me, and also my bed is kind of messy. She's really, she's, she was really the main point, or at least the uh, focus on this video. Now you get to see my bed. I'm just rambling on too much. Short and short, I'm going to probably have to restart everything, so please give me time until I actually get everything sorted out and everything fixed and everything ready to go. And also, I gotta have to deal with the court case with my truck, but that's another video for another time. I'll I'll let you guys know about that sooner or later. <sighs> Everything's just going on right now, especially when I have to go back to school. Okay, recap before I ramble on too much. I got a problem with that. It's just my computer. I'm gonna have to reformat, reinst reinstall everything, get everything back together because there's nothing I could do at this point. And I apologize to the people who are who were waiting for Operation Bedrock today and who are waiting for Operation Dome for this week and waiting for all the videos that I promised you guys I was going to upload. It's not going to happen until later on. So, just, I'll keep in touch with you guys. I'll keep you guys updated. Either, mainly I'm just going to use Twitter. I'm not going to keep posting everything on Facebook. I'm going to go on Twitter for the main updates and everything that goes around happening right now and if I need to make another video I'll let you guys know what's happening so that is it for now have a great day everyone I'm SoroKing090 and as always I will see you in the next video